My name is Sonali Rahman and I am a fellowship trained urogynecologist and pelvic reconstructive surgeon at St. Elizabeth Physicians. As a urogynecologist, I get a lot of questions that women may be uncomfortable or embarrassed to ask, but are actually common conditions that many women go through. One question I often get is, doctor, is my bladder falling out? Your bladder is probably not falling out, but your vagina could be. This happens because the pelvic organs are all connected by very delicate tissue. And through childbirth, through obesity, through menopausal changes, and even genetics, can cause that delicate tissue to weaken and cause the pelvic organs to descend. There are many options for the treatment of pelvic organ prolapse. One conservative option is pelvic floor physical therapy, which allows you to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. Another option would be to place a pessary, which is done in the office to help lift up the organs. More interventional options include surgical management, which may or may not include a hysterectomy, and tacking the pelvic organs to very strong ligaments inside the body. Our surgical options are minimally invasive, which means they include very small incisions, either on the abdomen, which can be done laparoscopically or robotically, or we do everything vaginally, which allows you to not have an abdominal incision at all. Most women go home the next day and are able to resume normal function after four to six weeks. I urge women to talk to their sisters, mothers, aunts, friends about this problem because more than 50% of women in their lifetime will have some sort of pelvic floor disorder. We want our patients to not suffer in silence and rather talk to their primary care doctors or their gynecologists about this bothersome issue. I hope this helps you so that the next time you visit your doctor, you won't feel shy asking the questions you really want to ask.